Leo Collective, wherever you are. I hope your summer's safe. Summer's warm, surrounded by love, light, happiness, joy, abundance, and filled with so much faith. Real quick, can you do me a favor? Can you hit that like button, please? Please hit share if you like to share it. And please hit subscribe and turn that notification bell on to all so you can always be updated whenever I put another message out there for you guys. And if you like to donate, you do not have to. It's not a requirement, but it's truly appreciate it. The information is in the description box down below. And thank you from the bottom of, but with all my heart ahead of time to anybody and everybody who chooses to, uh, choose to do so. And to everybody who has been, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, may God bless your beautiful souls. All right, guys, I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you so much to all my subscribers, everybody watching, liking, commenting, sharing, to everybody um, donating. Thank you, thank you so much. You saw um, actually had me you know, um, reach a major big goal that I had planned, um, that, you know, that I, that I was, uh, working on, um, being told not to speak on it right at the second, but I just still want to take the minute out to, to thank you so much for it, and my other goal to get to 5,000 subscribers is almost here, we're almost there, 4,862, so thank you, thank you, thank you, um, but okay, that's just good. Just want to say thank you to all of you. I absolutely love you guys. I hope you're all having a beautiful and blessed day. I hope uh, nobody's having a hangover. Because, <laughs> you know, it's St. Patty's Day or say. Oh, look at this. Alright, so guys, this actually might have... Alright, well, that's weird. Yeah, alright, this deck is actually mixed. I didn't know that was happening, so we're going to keep it that way. It was obviously meant to happen, because, you know, I usually always have my cards in the upright. But... This is going to be one of the rare chance, well, rare times that it's not going to be. So whatever comes out, it comes out. But yeah, you're getting this passionate new beginning from whoever these people were that are being very childish, and um, you know, uh, these people were like that were being very childish and ridiculous to the uh, to you. They're going to like have a front row seat to this new beginning that you have. They're going to be wishing that they were on your side. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Loved Ones that Passed Away. What does the collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of at this time? Please and thank you. Yeah, see, because you're getting ultimate wish fulfillment. Ultimate, your best possible outcome of whatever this is. Like, your ultimate wishes, you know, are coming for, or coming through. And these people that were, like, you know, very, um, all the karmic people that were against you, they're going to be getting in a front row fucking seat to it, okay? And now they're going to be wishing they were on your side and not against you. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Loved Ones have passed away. Yeah, because they've been exposed. They've been exposed and they see you having this, you know, you, they're going to get a front row ticket to see you have this, all this greatness, happiness, joy, love, abundance, you know. Um, and they're being exposed for being the, the childish, like, evil karmic people that they that they are. Yeah, guys, okay, so this, this deck's going to be some, you know, it's one of the rare, rare one of the rare times that, it, that they're not going to be, you know, in the upright. So whatever comes out, the way it comes out, it's coming. And once in a while, I'm led to do it like this, but I mean, you can do it anyway. But um, you have nothing but like you have greatness ahead of you. These people have been exposed for what they've done to you, and they get a you know front row ticket to see your happiness, your joy, abundance. I love it. I mean, you can do it any way you want. I just prefer to have all the, the cards in the upright. But, um, it'll still come out how we're supposed to be. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, see, because I, I seen it in the up, in the up, the, um, I seen it when it was coming out. It was coming out this way, but it, it landed because it wanted to come out this way. This is why you can do it in any way. I just prefer to have them in the upright. But yeah, your days of missing out on opportunities are completely over. I love it. Yeah, you're getting some sort of quick communication. Um, this could also be a backfire to somebody as well with the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You're going to get some sort of um, quick communication, maybe some like, I don't know, um, or installs. It could be you also um, elevating, you know, you know, it's rapidly elevating. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Loved Ones have passed away. What does the collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of at this time? Please thank you. Some about a house. Huh house or your foundation okay so if somebody stole a house from you or if you've been asking God for a house you're about to get this house or like your, your stability your foundation is like secure okay I love that you're about, maybe we're gonna get some sort of if someone stole a house from you you might be getting some sort of quick communication about this 
or maybe you're just going to be maybe you put in an application to to rent a home or own a home if so like i feel like that uh you know that you're going to get approved for that <laughs> excuse com excuse me confirmation congratulations dude that's fucking absolutely amazing to whoever that's for congratulations you're gonna get some sort of um quick communication about this and also it's like just talking about also just your stability if it's not a house it's your stability your home front like you know what i mean you're you're stable you're you're not missing out on opportunities anymore those days of you missing out on opportunities confirmation it's completely over all right so like i said remember i was telling you and i strongly feel it has a lot to do with especially if you weren't like you know um getting drunk last night and getting like doing drugs and stuff because remember i was telling you they were they were planning that attack um, they were banking on, you know, a lot of the collective to be drinking or, you know, partying last night. And, like, St. Patty's Day is a lucky day, right? You know, it's supposed to be a lucky day. It is a lucky, it definitely is a lucky day. Um, it definitely, definitely is. But, um, what do you call it? You know, when they're in that altered state of mind, they're they're hoping that you're going to be in that altered. Now, if you did drink and stuff last night, guys, don't get worried. Don't be worried, okay? You're still protected. But I'm just saying, I feel like maybe for the majority of us, um, we didn't. And when they sent this attack, one, we were too protected. Two, you know, we listened to the guidance that we were given. You know what I mean? And it didn't affect us, okay? So I, I strongly feel like for, for a lot of us, that this has a lot to do with it. A lot to do with it. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Loved Ones have passed away. What does the collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of? Oh, something about a King of Pentacles in the reverse. It's like, sorry, the King of Pentacles in the reverse is somebody that like do anything for money. Um, you know what I mean? They're, they're real cutthroat to do anything for money. They could have stole your money. They could have stole this house from you, possibly. They could have kicked you out of a house illegally. They, uh, but they're just like real cutthroat. They'll do anything for money. They, you know, they, they probably sell their, their body. They don't have to, but they're probably most likely like, a, you know, they do underhanded things to get their money. You know what I mean? Maybe it's your fucking money that they have. Holy Spirit, divine spirit, angels, ancestors, and loved ones. Thank you. Yeah, their plans, what they had planned for you is not coming in. Your plans are, they're, yeah. Maybe they, they were trying to kick you out of a house or something like that. Or have you unstable? Actually, I feel like it's like, like, you know, they they wanted you unstable. Okay, they they didn't want you to be able to pay your bills or to be able to buy this house or rent this home or or just have like just to be stable. You know what I mean? To have your finances in order. Whatever their plans were for you is not coming in. Okay, they they whatever their plans are failed miserably failed. Now I'm strongly getting they were trying to send an attack to you last night and it failed. And it just also reminds me of you when, <laughs> um. You know, when, when you, um, well, fuck, um, I don't know if I should say your name. All right, just like for your protection, I'm not going to say your name, but you know exactly who I'm talking about <laughs> when you did that amazing thing the other night and you told me that, you know, when the entity came to you and you knew you were protected, just out of your protection, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say your name, but, um, um, but yeah, you, 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 you so gracefully, um, you know, apologized to, you know, to the entity and, you know, that, that it was woken up and disturbed. Um, and, you know, you even told me that when I was reading the messages, you even told me that it came back to you last night and you felt it hug you. Right. So like, I strongly feel like this is tying into that because I immediately I just seen your, your username in my in my third eye when I was when I was just when I seen this card. So I think what happened was like, <laughs> and I just thought of that comment that you, when you commented me back saying that it came back to you last night. So I feel like whatever their plans were to send that attack to you failed miserably. Like, and yeah, it probably did come, yeah, like it came back to you last night, but not to fuck with you. <laughs> it came back to like actually love on you and like appreciate you. <laughs> so you know what's going to happen. How they thought that the attack was sending you, coming to you, fuck no. <laughs> You're perfectly fine. You did the absolute best thing. Guys, if you missed that, all right well, amazing beautiful soul that's um one of my subscribers he's absolutely amazing so yeah <laughs> um these assholes decided to summon up a very dark entity very demonic entity that um did not it's a very powerful ent entity too or or deity or whatever it is but it's um very powerful it didn't i was not happy that it was disturbed and they summoned it up to do an attack right well um, it did not work. <laughs> Let's just say um, one of my subscribers, uh, when it came to his house, 
he you know apologized to it and, and for being disturbed and everything and he knew that like the entity couldn't uh, mess with him so he apologized to him and he was like look i'm sorry that you were disturbed duh, duh, that you know what i mean and it left and then um he's like i kind of feel like I, I befriended it oh no he fucking definitely did because i did a reading after that and then it came out that like yeah it's not and, it, and that entity instead of because they couldn't mess you know they couldn't mess with him so they're like all right well um you know, like or anybody in the collective because we're too protected but they don't like this entity was pissed because he can't you know it got summoned it got disturbed for no reason and when he came to his house he gracefully did this right so it ended up really did he be he really did befriend this fucking entity <laughs> and the entity went back and now he was pissed and he was saying he wants one for the three so he was supposed to get you know his soul he didn't get his soul he went now he's going back to take three other souls and in that other reading i did last night it was all tying in the entity um is now also went and taking um at least one two to maybe four or five five whoever like summoned this entity up um actually is attacking them and took actually took them to hell all right and um i'm strongly getting oh got the chills again oh lord jesus uh, and took them to hell and i'm strongly getting somebody staying down there um and to my subscriber who i just don't want to say your name out of protection um uh, what do you call it let me know if you find out that anybody passed away now you might not even know the person you know what i mean because but someone's definitely passing away i'm thinking one to three people might be passing away but there's going to be because when he did this he saved a lot of he's like be very grateful for the subscriber okay because he saved a lot of people because now this entity went back took them to hell right and <laughs> excuse me confirmation and um somebody's not going to be coming back they're going to be staying there <laughs> confirmation um anywhere between one to three i feel like and but there is going to be at least one or two of these people that he's taken down there that are going to be pleading like and begging um um god to you know to give him another chance and that they're they were promised to make things right and it's going to change your life around everything else and they're going to use that testimony their health testimony and oh jesus i got the chills and um everything to to help you know um, so now it's not only going to help, you know, my subscriber out and make everything right about what they did to him and to, you know, um, other people as well, but also because this was his plea, you know, so he didn't go to hell. Um, he's also going to change his life around and also, you know, speak on his hell, um, testimony and what they, what these people been doing to, you know, to my subscriber and others as well. So he's going to be taking this whole thing down, you know what I mean? By, because this is what he's promising God. Not only that, like now other people, whatever he's going to do, maybe he's going to do a YouTube channel or something. I don't fucking know. But he's going to, he, he vowed to do this testimony. And it's going to, now other people are going to see this testimony and they're going to be like, oh, fuck this, no way. Like they're going to stop from their evil ways. So that's absolutely amazing. That just made me think of you. Um, and I'm strongly getting that's what happened. Like they, whatever their plans were, they sent that, that entity to your house. You befriended the first time. <laughs> you befriended the first time. It went back and that's probably what it was when it came back to you last night buddy i guarantee you he's coming back to hug you to let you know that you know when you said you, you felt him and, and oh god Jesus, Jesus. um he was just letting you know oh god um he's letting you know that you're okay and you know he probably never experienced that love before that you gave him all right um so i'm strongly feeling you even like <laughs> you like you're even changing the fucking entity okay <laughs> like what the fuck <laughs> um <laughs> You know what I mean? You, you even softened up the entity, which is absolutely beautiful because it was a very powerful entity that they were summoned up as well. So that's amazing work. And yes, it, you know, when it came back to your house last night, it, they had, what their plans were for you um, was this entity to take you out. Absolutely not. It was coming back to probably say goodbye to you because it was probably, you know, I'm strongly getting, I'm strongly, he was getting home and back possibly to say goodbye to you and to let you know that you're okay and that, that he appreciated that, you know, they, you know, your love because I don't think he's ever been been you know shown love before so i strongly feel that might even been an indicator to let you know that somebody passed away or people might have passed away and i feel like that entity was going back and that's why i think that possibly it's you know he was going you know he's going back you know what i mean so he was saying goodbye to you um i'm strongly getting on i mean if he comes back let me know um you know what I mean? But I, that's what I'm strongly getting. I'm strongly getting he was coming to say goodbye to you and to let you know that he appreciates you. All right. 
and so guys take a tip from him please like if you have if you feel a negative energy coming at your way or anything especially if you feel like it's a demonic thing just do what he did and apologize to it okay that it that has been bothered um you know and just just give it like love like you know what i mean because love is the winner of all you know what i mean like love is the highest frequency and i mean it, it worked for him it definitely worked and not only that you know we need to thank him like with all of our heart and soul like, like literally because what he just did i don't even think you know he realizes exactly how powerful that was or he, or any of us realize how powerful that was because he's going to save literally save so many lives with with was doing that and it was something like straight from the heart you know what i mean i don't even think he like intended it to, for that to happen like that but it did which is so beautiful it's even more beautiful you know what i mean like but um that's looking amazing guys <laughs> that's absolutely amazing Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. and again like i mean let me know in the comments if it's all right for me to say your name i just don't want to say your name without your permission um but I appreciate you so fucking much, dude. <laughs> and I, I'm strongly getting that's what happened. They, they they wanted you to be leaving out. They thought that the entity was gonna come back and fuck you up, right? Fuck, no, it didn't. It came back, um, well, it came there first. You apologized to it, you befriended it, sent it on its way, <laughs> and it went back and did what it had to do. And I feel like it was taken, you might find out someone passed away, but I don't know if you know this person or not, because we don't all know who, like, all, who all was involved in summoning this up, but I strongly feel like you might know, you might find out that that someone passed away and if so that's you know it's one of the people that summoned this thing up now or three or however many you know, entities that i mean how many however many um souls it takes to back down to the hell with them you know what i mean um you might even freed this entity for all i fucking know i don't know um so maybe i don't know but i'm strongly getting i'm strongly getting that um you might have fucking freed this entity i don't fucking know but yeah, I feel like it came back and it like, it was to, to just thank you and say goodbye to you possibly. Damn. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. <laughs> but yeah, with their plans for you or not, it's not coming in. <laughs> it definitely did not come in at all. <laughs> what they expected. <laughs> Fucking assholes. <laughs> yeah, you're single, self-sufficient, independent. They have no protection. Like, look, this is what they thought. <laughs> This is like the entity right here they sent to you, right? <laughs> they thought that was going to protect them. Fuck no. It, like, it went right past you. It went to your house. You know, you befriended it. You, put, you, you sent it on its way. It came, even came back as a thank you. And it's not protecting them, okay? <laughs> it's not protecting them by no means. <laughs> it's like protecting you is what it's doing. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Yeah. You released the devil, bro. <laughs> Come through, spirit. Come through. You released the devil, bro. Oh, Lord Jesus. It's the devil in the reverse. That's a releasing the devil. Bro, what? And you're not in deep emotional pain. Oh, I got the chills all over my body. <laughs> you released it you did you released it like you released that entity what because you were so loving and nurturing you released um deep emotional pain i guess to the entity this is like the devil this is why because it's weird you know you know guys i usually always have my cards in the upright all in the upright i don't even know how they weren't in the upright i mean you know spirit works in, in mysterious ways you know what i mean um and it's like every once in a while like it'll spirit will tell me to you know mix the the because i don't need to but maybe there's like somebody in the collective that that's like watching my channel and like because i can feel the energy if it's like an upright or if it's not so i don't need them to be mixed like that so you can do it either way because i can feel the energy you know what i mean that's why sometimes when it'll come out and then like i'll see like i'm like no this is like it's, it's actually a reversal but i'll still take it and the way it comes out because i can feel it i can feel the energy and um but uh maybe there's somebody that's watching that that's like new to my channel or something or somebody's like i don't know what's going on i don't fucking know so like spirit is having me just keep it the way it is or like or every once in a while like i'll shovel and like you'll you'll catch me up like all right well i'm being led to to do a mixel so what i'll do is i'll shuffle two times um 
you know, the regular way with um, all in the up, like, well, one time I'm um, upright, then I'll, then I'll split the deck and then, say my left ear is ringing, I'll split the deck and then I'll shuffle, um, you know, I'll turn one upside down and then the other, and then I'll shuffle one time with it being in the upright, so it would be like a, just a mix in there, but um, I don't even know how the fuck these cards got mixed like that. But it all, yeah, because look, come through spirit. Because you're a spiritual leader, you're extremely gifted, you know, you use your gifts for the good. And this is why, like, they wanted you to lose out on some sort of opportunities with your spiritual gifts. They're also trying to get you to lose your gifts. They might have summoned that entity to steal your gifts. That, that, you might find out your gifts are stronger, okay? You might have got more gifts. You might That might even been the entity coming back to give you, um, to possibly even give you somebody's gift that they were abusing to come up against you, like, you know, that whatever they were trying to steal from you maybe they stole you know maybe whatever they were taking that um and you know somebody to down to hell and they decided to come back and give you you know what i mean last night drop gave you a hug and dropped off their um you know some gift that they were abusing against you to you possibly my left ear's ringing because you use your gifts for the good and i'm telling you you release like this entity which is crazy and this was a powerful entity too yeah this emperor in the reverse this could be a work please um i'm strongly picking up on okay guys you know remember i was saying about that place that you worked at or well someone using the collective now guys remember take what resonates leave the rest for who 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 it resonates for and if it doesn't resonate for you that's fine okay um just you know what i mean just take what resonates okay it's a collective reading it's not a personal reading so some of the re some of the messages you know the whole reading will be yours you know maybe every single reading will be yours because your spirit guides your your ancestors or you know you watch my channel every day and you know especially if you're watching all my readings you know because your ancestors you know they that's they led you to me because they you know they're speaking to me and through me for you and especially if you're watching them every day so there's a very good chance that you know um a lot of my readings if not all of them will resonate with you but you know it's a collective reading so like so sometimes it'll be just bits and pieces will, will resonate for you and sometimes you know um maybe you know there might even be a reading that nothing resonates for you and that's fine too um but just take what resonates don't get offended by anything that, that doesn't resonate because if it doesn't resonate with you don't make it resonate okay don't make it don't make it uh, fit because it just it's not for you if it doesn't resonate for you it's for somebody else in the collective you know what i mean and it's just their ancestors you know speaking to me and through me for them as well but remember for some of us you know you know, for some of you out here, you remember um, we were saying about how you had this workplace, right? That you either rented um, a house, an apartment, a room, or something from the worker, uh, from your well, with a worker, or like the, with a boss, or something like that happened. Like, or you maybe you were roommating with um, a old boss or old roommates or, or, or old um, employee or a coworkers. I'm sorry, or something like that. Like, or you had a, a property or something that you were living at, um, like on the property where you worked or something like that's happening okay or while you're at work you know your old boss or co-workers stole your keys and while you're working they would go into your house and doing it well for some of you i feel like this is what this is i feel like your old workplace okay or or maybe you still work there i don't fucking know with that that you rented that house from or that that, that room from or whatever the situation was i feel like you know your, whatever they did if they illegally kicked you out or was something to do with your workplace and, and an old workplace and a house okay either they illegally kicked you out or it could even just be your foundation they illegally um you know they docked hours from you they they or whatever they did you know they they stole your identity um you know uh you know they they illegally fired you whatever that is it was it was not against you it was for you okay be, that had to happen okay because it's going to work out better all right because you weren't supposed to be working here you're a spiritual leader you're extremely gifted okay this is your new job this is why that's all had to happen in that place that you're living at if you lost the home or whatever or whatever the situation is don't look at it as a loss because it was actually a gain you're going to gain from this that's this place wasn't for you the home and if, if for you some use it's just the job some use it didn't have nothing to do with a house okay but some use it's just the job now whether it's a job and the house either way whatever however this resonates for you this place was not for you they didn't pay you what you were worth first of all they are they stole your identity they did some 
you know, really illegal shit to you, and they were hurting you, then the plans they had for you were very, very dark, very negative. And this place, you weren't meant to work at this place, or even, I feel like, even like an actual nine to five job. I feel like you were supposed to be, you know, you already did put in all your hard work, and, you know, hours and labor throughout your whole life. You're a spiritual leader. You're supposed to be living in luxury, all right? You earned that. You're sp like, you earned that, okay? So you're not missing out no more. This was not a loss, okay? Please get that out of your head. It was not a loss. Now, somebody else also is trying, also in getting someone was trying to get you kicked out, all right? Maybe they were unable to, um, or if they, like I said, or if it was an illegal eviction or an illegal, um, you know, in fire, like a fireman or whatever, if they fired you illegally or they docked hours, whatever the situation is, you're going to make out and it's going to put you in this nine of pentacles, all right, if you're not already, okay, you're about you're single, self-sufficient, independent, all right, but it's coming, it's also coming in, like, from what, so, you know, for a lot of you, you're going to sue this place, you're going to make a lot of money from just suing them for what they did to you, they put illegal cameras in your house, um, you know, whatever the fuck they did, they, they, they did a lot of illegal, you know, this has happened to a bunch of us, it happened to a bunch of us, so, um, I know it's going to be different for each one of us. Either way, we let's just get this place out of our head, okay? Because they are so minute and unexistent to us, they don't fucking matter. Because this is what matters. You know, God matters. And you doing God's work, and this is what you're doing. You're a spiritual leader. You're extremely gifted. You're doing whatever God, you know, you're in your purpose. You're doing what God sent you here to do. And, you know, you're, you have, like, the luxury of, you know, you earn this luxury, too, where you get to work when you want to work. You make way more money by doing this way more money and you do it at your leisure you know what i mean and you are about to be your own boss okay now the emperor is also like you can be a workplace but this is definitely a workplace right here this is what this is is a workplace now also the emperor is like all the kings embodied in one if it's in the upright so you know it's a very great and amazing um uh, gentleman now in the reverse that's like all the kings embodied in one in the reverse it's a pathological narcissistic piece of crap detached you know just a horrible person very cutthroat, um, you know, horrible person, sociopath, um, that, uh, what do you call it? They're strongly getting, they're evil eyeing you, they're trying to stop you, and they're trying to block you. They didn't want you to get this position that you're getting, where you're single, self sufficient, independent, and you're the spiritual leader. They wanted you to miss out on this opportunity. They're trying so hard to get you to walk away. That's not fucking happening. You're not walking away. You're staying in your power, and this is why. And, like, to my subscriber that I was just talking about that did that to the entity, this is exactly why they wanted you to walk away because they know how powerful you are. They know that you are powerful enough to fucking be from this entity <laughs> and have it go right back after them and take them and not even that but you know you know um also free this entity you freed that entity all right so this is why they want it so hard for you this is why they've been attacking you so hard because they don't want you in this power because they know how powerful you are okay so it's very important for you to continue on this journey because you're doing fucking absolutely amazing job. You know, I don't even think you realize or any of us even realize just how powerful that truly was. That was a you know, major power move, a major, major power move. And look, holy, look, four, four, four. <laughs> the emperor is the number four. We have four, four, four. Absolutely beautiful. All right. They're fucking around. Like, they, 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 they fucked up with this one too. Majorly fucked up, okay? Um, and this is exactly why they've been attacking you so much because they don't want you to be in this power because they see that you are, but this was a big boss move that you did. What you did was a major fucking boss move when you did that, okay? Um, and thank you again for that. That was absolutely fucking amazing. But they see you for this and you are a actually, you know, and, and the collective in this health. Like, so your days are missing out because you won't walk away from your purpose and you're continuing to do what God sent you here to do. That's why you're getting this luxury of single, self-sufficient, independent. Um, you're about to be your own boss. Let's not forget that, you know, well, God is our boss, okay? Um, but in the 3D, like you're, you're, like, you're doing like your own business or something with your spiritual gifts, okay? And you're very powerful, extremely powerful yeah they were very unjust to you <sighs> what they did to you was very unjust this workplace this this and just people in general this could have even been fucking a workplace at some of that thing up you might find out an old boss or old co-workers um might pass away going to hell what they did was extremely unjust and unforgivable you're the star look Whatever you're doing with your spiritual gifts, like I'm, t I'm telling you right now, and you're, like everyone sees you, you're very healing, extremely healing. They were trying to steal your stardom. Not gonna fucking happen. 
okay they see you for the star you are your high priest you're going to be like famous for your spiritual gifts like whatever you whatever your gifts are you're going to be known like a, like around the world or like you're going to be the best of whatever you do whatever your spiritual gifts are you're going to be the best like you know you're maybe you're an ex you could even be a possibly an ex exorcist like you know um or you know you, you summon out fucking you know that demonic entity you know maybe you are or whatever it is that you do um you know this is for the collective in general too you know what I mean um you're going to be like you know especially to who I'm speaking about my subscriber I just don't want to say his name um without his permission because especially what he did was very powerful you know what I mean but you are protected especially after doing that you're definitely definitely fucking are um because you helped out a lot of souls with that a lot by doing what you did and remember guys love is the, the highest frequency okay and it, the, like what <laughs> i just can't even like express that enough yeah you're getting wow look at this this is actual fame this is actual fame literally fame the six of wands in the upright at the bottom of the deck right after the star this is victory success public recognition and possibly fame but with the star card here this is that especially right after the star card <laughs> this is fame excuse me confirmation and you're going to be famous for your spiritual gifts you're going to be known around the world. You're going to be like, excuse me, confirmation for your spiritual gifts. Congratulations. Absolutely fucking beautiful. And look, the Six of um, Pentacles is on its way. It's on its fence. It came out and landed on the start, right? It's on its way. You're getting this. Um, somebody's taking a major loss. You're taking, you're getting a major blessing. It's a generous blessing. You're going to be able to bless the pockets of other people. All right. And it's coming right underneath here. It's in transit. Like it's coming. 96 can be significant. Um, but it's, 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 it landed on the fence, landed like this, so it's in its way, it's coming, it's coming to you, it's in transit, and it's going to put you into this, um, this, this nine of pentacles, if you're not already there, single self-sufficient and, and independent, it's coming from your, your spiritual gifts, whatever you're doing with, like, you know, your, for your workplace, like, you're, this is how you're, you know, this is your job now, you know what I mean, you're going to be getting paid for whatever it is that you're, for your gifts absolutely beautiful and you're gonna get a major major blessing and as a gift from god can't be stolen can't be taken yeah there will be no union with these people from your past okay this um these people from your past that somebody was trying they're trying to send somebody in from your past to come in to fuck shit up for you that ain't happening the six of cups in the reverse and it landed over top of the emperor and that the the four um, wands you could have lived with this person or like i said this could have been old workplace um that you lived at to or like was you felt like was like home to you at one time and it, it was everything but that there will you won't be going back to this place okay they might be trying to get you they might hit you up to try to get you to come back or something like that apologize to you whatever the situation is that's not going to happen and if it's like or people that you used to live with possibly um or it's people from your past that are trying to come back only because they know you think that you're getting this blessing and they're scared to fucking death about you know what what you what's going to happen but um they're not protected as well okay there's they're not coming back there will be no union with the six um from these people these karmics that in your life okay and this is also look six six and 69 is definitely significant or 96 possibly but we have uh nine six now 